Hello, this is Vampire. This video is for Edmire san. Okay, so uh, first thing is I'm going to be using a, uh, a pen right here, metallic pen. The important thing to understand is this is not a normal metallic pen. The body is um, one piece, okay? So uh, if you have one that splits somewhere around here, then chances are it's going to break in your hand while you're using it. So we don't want that. So the whole body is one piece. And um, if you have distance, we want to use this kind of grip so we could slash, okay? And if you're going to get in close, then we like to switch to reverse grip. Now, I don't recommend switching grips in the middle of a combat situation unless you are very used to that and comfortable with that. Um, I would just say pick one or the other and just stick with that, and that's fine, okay? So if you feel like you could keep the distance, go ahead and use this kind of grip, the thumb support here. And if you feel like you're going to end up here, then go ahead and just start off with the reverse grip like so. Okay. Um, now, the recommended, of course, is the more distance you have, the safer it is for you. And the closer you get, the more difficult. There are techniques we have, but it's, it's more difficult to utilize them. So distance is your friend. Distance is your best um, tool for defense. Okay, so you want as much distance as possible. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so right here, what I'm going to do here is it is, I'm making a diamond shape. Okay, so that's one two, three, and four, okay? So once again, one, that's this side. Number two is this side, so that creates a triangle right here. And then three is downwards, and four is downwards, and that creates the bottom V shape. So once again, it's a diamond. So there's really four techniques, that's it, you know, to that creates the, the diamond. So if they're attacking me like this, then I immediately do this right here, support. And if I can, the pen, but I know it's it's small, so you might end up using your hand, and that's fine, or you might even use all of this. That's okay, so right here. Okay, so this is, so that's my number one. And then over here, this is coming, so same idea right here, I could, I could block with that, okay? Or I could switch off to this side. Whatever the case, it's one, two, three, and four. And the reason why I'm recommending this is with my students, when they have a knife and they attack me, and I'm not talking about when they attack me, and I tell them, okay, ready? Okay, give me the attack. And they feed me the attack, and then I do the technique or whatever. I'm talking about when they attack me, and I, I didn't expect it, because it does happen sometimes. And when they come out out of nowhere, then this is what I do. I'm like, oh. And this is the diamond is what comes out. So that's why I'm recommending that. And that is what we, uh, we train. All of this stuff comes from the sticks. And we're, we're doing the exact same thing, two, three, and four. Okay. So that is that diamond shape right there. It's called the force to force block. Well, once again, you could do this here. One, two, three, and four. Okay. So whether I'm coming, slamming it down or slamming it down, I am swatting their hand away. And I prefer the hand, not to swat the direct weapon. If I have to, I will, but I prefer the hand. So really, that's, that's the main part. And you're doing that when you have the distance, okay? So when you get in close, and like I said, we prefer reverse grip, okay? We prefer it. If, if you don't have it, then that's fine. You could still do it like this too. But once again, we prefer reverse grip. And once we're in close like this, you know, they, they could be choking me or grabbing me or whatever. I'm going to just do what I do with the sticks, which, which is the angles of attack. And that is diagonal, diagonal, side to side, and stab. Okay, so that's the same form that I do with the sticks, the diagonal, diagonal, side to side, and stab. I'm just doing it much, much smaller. One, two, three, four, five. Why? Because the target is here. Why the face? Because 
even if they have a jacket on, or even if they have a lot of muscles, the face, nobody wants this on their face. And the idea here is to become so comfortable with this that you are, see I'm doing figure eights, I'm doing circles, I'm playing around with those angles. Boom, 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 boom. And I'm scribbling like a kid would scribble with a, with a big marker on their face. That's all I'm doing. So I do this and when I create the space, I run away. So that's really a very simplified version of what we do with the sticks or the knife or anything else. This is a very simplified Eskrima that I am presenting to you, uh, Kali Eskrima Arnis. So that is the idea there. So that's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care, folks.